training adventures with Molly. <sighs> yeah. Big, Molly. big size. <laughs> How are we with hands? We bite? No. What do we do with hands? Kisses. Yes. Where do these peanuts come from, puppy? We are Peter and Kelly. And this is PKM Rendered. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. So today we are going to be sharing with you some of our training adventures with Molly. <sighs> yeah, big, Molly. Big size. <laughs> <laughs> our background with Miss Maya, we really didn't do any type of like training training where we constantly kept going at different intervals. I came into Maya's life a little bit later on so I, maybe I should let you say if you yeah, actually trained her. I, I do remember training her to heal so like to stop and we, we got to a point at, at one of the places that I was living before Peter and I got together where I could walk her off leash around the neighborhood and she would just stay close to me. She would stop when I said heal. We're crossing roads and, and she was excellent. But I remember, I think you taught her how to roll over. Mm. Can't say old dogs don't <laughs> learn new tricks because Maya could. She was a smart yeah. dance. I don't remember her training from when she was a baby. I I am assuming I did some because she turned out so well. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I just don't remember much of it. With Miss Molly, we had to really rethink our whole training, not only training her, but actually training us as well, too, because yes. it's it's constant, really. Like you, you do have downtime and whatnot. But if you really want your pup to grow up and not be a pup as biting or jumping or whatever, you really need to figure out different methods and mechanisms to circumvent or distract or whatever the case is to stop them from doing those puppy things because that's what puppies do they learn by putting things in your mouth and chewing and nipping and as they get older they're they're pretty sharp on the hands and the face and body parts <laughs> <laughs> legs you know we went to the google and uh, looked up some youtube yeah. Videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we found a fellow. His name is Zach George, and yes. um, he has a couple books. But we've just been watching his YouTube videos, and he he's quite informative with mm -hmm. regards to training puppies. Trying to to work with Molly and do some training. Can you do some training? How are we with hands? We bite. No. What do we do with hands? Kisses. Yes. That's better. That's better. Can you lay down? Down. Down. Good girl. Let's try up. Up. Good girl. Smarty pants. Catching on. Can we shake a paw? Shake. Yes. Good girl. Very good. Down. Yes. Good girl. Up. Yes. Good girl. We'll do one more. Shake, shake, shake a paw, yes. Can we shake this paw? Shake this paw, shake. Yes, good girl, awesome. Can we do nose bump? Nose bump, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Talks about how when you're teaching them to stay, even just moving your body back like an inch is, is enough for them to learn how to stay initially. And then you maybe take one step away yeah. and for them to stay. And, and I think we've been, you know, saying stay and take 10 steps back <laughs> and she just runs forward. Oh, yeah. So she doesn't really learn how to stay. We just assume so much that um, we tell you to stay, you stay and you get it right now. <laughs> Why don't you get it right now? And um, this fella that we're, we're watching, he's pretty amazing. You know, he has a, a very laid back demeanor and everything. He, and he's the new Caesar, I think. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> he's, 
he's up there as far as we're concerned anyways it doesn't really matter if you raise your voice or not so why do it be calm just talk to them because your dog really can't speak human the only thing they get is when you repeat it over and over do they actually retain that with something you want them to do or is it just go in one ear out the other one and they'll just continue doing whatever they want he uses a, a reward system either toys or food or treats or, or whatever the case is and the dogs learn and we've even seen with miss molly progress on her training and everything sure. so a lot quicker than <laughs> without finding out these little tips and mm -hmm. tricks on how to do things i think too he emphasizes with the biting um that it is natural for them to be mm -hmm. biting and it's how they explore the world like you said and yeah. also they show affection thing that we were really worried about but he said you know the best way to kind of curb and then eventually eliminate it is slowly he said it mm -hmm. takes weeks to kind of break that habit and reinforce other behaviors so to be patient she may start biting but then she'll stop and she'll lick or or vice versa if she gets overstimulated she might you know start out licking and then start nipping a bit but she's yeah. responding a lot quicker to correction every yeah. dog is different as well too some dogs aren't biters some dogs are biters some dogs don't chew your furniture or chew walls or baseboards or whatever and some dogs do but every dog learns a little bit different as well too mm -hmm. so it's just a matter of trying to figure out what the dog is like what they like for a reward system and work with them with that. Do they like food? Do they like toys? Do they just like personal time with you? Because you really need to spend a lot of time with your puppy from the start of the day, throughout the day, at the end of the day, and just be there for them. You're not 100% training all the time. It'll, it'll lessen, but the training may get into different types of tricks or something like that mm -hmm. too. So, because puppies, dogs, they love challenges. They love working and they love working with people. I have a pocket full of treats, different types of treats, but I'm just giving a very, very tiny bit. Molly, here, here, good girl. So they're not too, too much anyways. It's gonna be hard because we never really trained outside or anything, but Molly's been doing pretty good inside when we do start our training. So hopefully she'll continue doing outside, but with the grass and stuff, it might be a little bit different, but we'll see how it goes. So Miss Molly, yeah, I know all these scents in the grass and leaves, hopefully not blowing around in the wind or anything like that, but uh, we'll see. Molly, here. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Up. Up. Good girl. I uh, can't really do a, a leave it in this one, but maybe we can. Molly, here. See? Leave it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so it might be a little bit too much for her right here. So sit. Let's see if we can do a rollover. Molly here. Roll. Roll. Huh? Here. Roll. Oh. Down. Roll. Good girl. That was a pretty good roll. Sometimes it takes a little bit more for her to get going and stuff, so. And one thing I really wanted to work with her on is stay. Molly, here. Stay. Molly, here. Stay. <laughs> he didn't say come, no. Sit. Stay. Look. Stay. Okay, come. Good girl. Stay. Only here. <laughs> nice try. Down. That was me. I think I might be out of shot. Sit. Down. Down. Molly, here. Down. Good girl. The one left. Molly, here. 
Molly, come. Sit. Good. Here. Paw. Good girl. Nose bump. Awesome. All right, so just a few training things anyway, so the point is just to keep going at it daily. She's still quite a bundle of energy. <laughs> yeah. And Maya, Maya was just a snuggler. She loved being mm. with her humans, but she would just curl up next to you and snuggle. She loved to like sleep next to her humans. <laughs> Didn't matter the time of day. Mm. She was a she was a good hardcore napper and, and Molly is the opposite. the opposite. But I mean, she's a puppy too, yep. but, but tons and tons of energy. If you don't want to have those negative behaviors coming out, you do need to be spending time with them yeah. teaching them the positive yeah. behaviors and and so it's just a learning curve for peter and i just even in yeah. and even our trying energy to, levels <laughs> exactly because one you need, really need to figure out what will expend their energy what kind of activities will make them tired make them enjoy it make them want to stay and, and commit to that training time play time whatever it is and you really got it with a puppy and this is a big thing that Kelly and I are learning as well, too, is just can't do 100% training. There has to be times where a puppy just needs to be a puppy. Let them run, let them play, have fun that way. And you may get a time where you, you do use some of your training that you've already done with them, calling their name, having them come over for a sit or, or whatever, and just mm -hmm. to have a little break and not get too wild up and, and stuff like that. So... So it, it all kind of interweaves amongst it's itself. A, so. It's a balancing act, though. Yep. Like, yeah. and Molly is interesting. She she <laughs> can get overtired. So it's it's Oof. a balancing act of finding, okay, you're tired. We're going to put you in your pen so you can have that enclosed space so mm -hmm. you can kind of settle yourself, right? Because she, she used to sort of just conk out when she was tired, but now she kind of bypasses she just that wants and to keep going. goes into overtired, and then she gets squirrely and yeah. unruly yeah. and... <laughs> Yeah. So. Most of the time right now when we're making our videos, Molly is actually in her kennel right now. So she's just sitting on her pillow or relaxing or hopefully sleeping right now to a little bit of a break. She does well in her, in the pen that we have for her. She mm -hmm. kind of can settle most of the time. She settles right away, doesn't yeah. whine or anything. She usually snoozes while she's in there, so... <laughs> it's good. But training will continue for many, many, many more months to come. Yes. So, and it'll, it'll get better. It just takes a little bit of time for different things to happen and process. So a so. lot of effort initially in the beginning. Yeah. Zach said, train hard for a year, and then you got 15 years of greatness with yeah. your, your pet, yeah. right? Like, or Put your time in now. Yeah, if you sure. don't put your time in now, it's not going to be it's, good. It's going to take even longer for it to happen, right? Yeah. So. And that's a big thing Kelly and I are doing is we're we're trying to put in as much time as we can just to emphasize the fact that you could do this. No, you can't do that. But trying to find a good balance with Molly. I have a little extra time on my hands now, so hopefully I'll be able to do a bit more with her. But we're going to let you guys go. And you guys have a great evening. God bless you. Bye-bye. What you got? Oh, peanut. Nice. Where did these peanuts come from, puppy?